Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete the system reserve partition. Now, what is system reserve partition and what it contains? You can check out in my previous video. I will leave the description. I will leave the link for that video in the description below. So let's get started. Now, before I get started, I want to give you a warning that whatever operations you are going to perform, they are very dangerous. And in case if you make any mistake, you might result in a non-bootable PC. So uh, first of all, make the backup of your system before doing actually what I'm going to perform. So let's get started. So uh, I have reverted that machine in the previous uh, video, whatever demonstration I showed you, I have just reverted that virtual machine. So currently you can see I have the system reserve partition and C drive. So as I told you in the previous video that Basically, what we have in the system reserve partition is the boot configuration database and the recovery environment. Now, if you have a boot configuration database or not, you can see over here if it shows system, it means you have a boot configuration database. And it doesn't show you over here that whether you have the Windows recovery environment or not that you can get from the command line. So I'm going to show you through the command line. You need to open the command line as an administrator. So run as administrator. So from here you can find out if you have reagent C slash info and that's going to tell you that whether you have recovery agent installed or not and in which partition it is. So it says hard disk zero partition one that is the first partition. Now in some versions, it happens like in 1809 version of Windows, if you do the fresh installation, it creates the recovery one uh, system reserve partition, but doesn't actually store the recovery image it stores in the C drive. So in that case, you're going to find that when you see from here, you're going to see that's 90 to 95% free. So it means that it is not using at all. So now, if you want to delete this partition, I can first of all delete the recovery environment. I can first of all disable recovery environment and then boot into a PC because currently if I try to right click and you're going to see that we have delete option is disabled as we are currently running, I will not be able to delete this partition. So first of all, I just need to boot up from my PC. No need to even disable it. I can simply, uh, okay, let's try to delete, uh, del uh, disable this partition. So I can say reagent C slash disable and this recovery agent is going to be disabled and that the WIM file that I showed you in the previous version, in the previous video, that gets back into uh, original location. So that goes to C drive, uh, C drive, it goes to Windows and System32 and we have a recovery and I disabled it. Yeah, it's hidden file actually, so you can not see over here you need to view the system files. You need to enable viewing system files and that file got moved over here. So now you can see that if I close this and reopen the disk management, And now we're showing that this system reserve partition is 94% free. So now what we have left in this recovery partition is the, is the boot configuration database. Now boot configuration database is the database that is required for booting up your PC. If that is not there, you won't be able to boot it. So we will be booting off from the flash drive or a DVD or uh, any other installation media and then we will be able to delete that partition. And then we will be creating the boot configuration database onto the C drive. So let's power off this machine. Uh, let's restart, shut down and restart. And it will, I have already inserted the DVD drive, so it will prompt me for pressing enter key, press any key to boot from DVD. Now I'm booting from DVD, now I will be able to delete that partition. That deletion, you can do it through the, the Windows installation wizard. You select the partition or delete it, or you can use the disk management utility for deletion. So if you have booted up from the Windows PE environment, you can delete from command line. So I'm gonna show you both the ways. So you can go on with the next install now actually we are not doing the installation but we want to delete it i don't have a product key and you can choose anyone because you are not going to actually install it 
I accept the license terms move next I want to do the custom install from here what you can do is you can select this partition and simply click on delete and just exit out of this installation wizard another way is you can do it from the command line utility press shift f10 or if you have booted from windows pe windows uh, pre-execution environment you will you will be finally landing on the command prompt so you can go to this part and if i say list disk i have only one disk so select disk zero and now if i see list partitions we have only two partitions so i need to select the first partition and delete that thing so i say select partition one now again if i say list partition is going to show a star over here that represents what partition you have to you have selected now here you need to be careful if you select the wrong partition and delete it all your data would be gone so just ensure you have selected the partition that is roughly around 500 578 mb so i need to say del and it's asking what do you want to delete delete a partition or a volume or a disk so i say delete partition and the partition got deleted now at this point of time if i restart my machine you will get a boot failure because it doesn't have a boot configuration database so now what i need to do is i need to select the second partition as the active partition where it's going to look up for the the bootloader and then we need to create the database for that so exit and now what i need to do is from here i need to activate the second partition so let's go back to this part uh, select disk zero select partition one list partition we have only one partition that is partition number two so i say select partition two now if i do list partition we have only one partition and that this partition is not active now to check whether the partition is active or not so you can say detail partition is going to show you whether this partition is active or not so i say act for marking it as active and then let's get out of here and now i need to configure this partition as a bootable partition so uh, let's see where i have uh, D, the windows operating system installed so if i do dir so it's going to show you that in d drive i have actually the windows operating system installed so if i do bcd boot d colon backslash windows and boot configuration database successfully created and if i do dir slash ah for hidden files now i can see it has created this boot we have boot manager file and inside this boot directory we have the boot configuration database so now if i restart you should be able to restart successfully so here you would have deleted that partition but are they other activating the the c drive and then creating the boot configuration database you will have to do it from the command line so click yes and i want to restart uh, I don't want to boot from DVD. Now, whatever empty space we are having, you, you will need to use any third party uh, disk management tool for claiming that um, space because Microsoft disk management utility doesn't allow you to, to reclaim the space backwards. So it's booting successfully. I just need to go to disk management to show you that that partition actually got deleted. So let's move on to right click and go to disk management. And from there you can see this is all unallocated space. Now I cannot extend it. You need to use some third party utility for stretching it and use the entire part partition. So that's how you can delete a system reserve partition. Hope you like this video. If you have any other questions or comments, please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.